All right, guys, how you doing? It has been a long while since I have made a video. But uh, I want to talk about two concealed carry pieces that I recently picked up that I am really impressed with. I, I really am. I like them. Um, they, they, in my opinion, the uh, manufacturers of both these guns, which are, are um, manufacturers that have been in business for a very long time and are reputable uh, manufacturers, um, made some pretty do doggone good pieces. Uh, with that being said, I wanted to give my piece on the micro concealment pistols that have been coming out. The first one being the uh, P365, which is, I've held that gun and I've actually shot that gun. That, that gun, does it shoot well? For me, no. And the only reason it doesn't shoot well for me is mainly because it's too, too small for me. Um, I don't like it. Uh, I don't hate it, but I don't like it either. Sounds weird when you say that, right? But it's just too small for my hands, and so I wasn't comfortable shooting it. The second pistol I held was the Hellcat. Also, now that one felt a little better in my hand, but that gun really wanted to jump up out of your hands. So I also didn't like that gun. So what I ended up uh, picking up, which was two pieces, my wife allowed me to pick up two guns, um, was, and I'm going to start off with this very first one, and here we go. And it's going to be the Shield Plus. Now, the m and line is a great line of guns, all right? I, I love it. It's, uh, I think it's the most popular um, line that uh, Smith & Wesson's come out with. If I'm wrong, you can correct me in the comments. I'm not even sure. But I think it is, all right? With that being said, this Shield Plus, I like it. Now, the very first generation of Shield was a single stack, uh, and I'm pretty sure the, the subsequent... Uh, Generations after that were also single stacks. Now they just came out with this new one, which is a double, I think a double stack staggered. I don't know. Like I said, don't quote me, but this thing holds 13 plus one. The capacity alone made me want to get this gun. Um, 13 plus one was a lot for me. Second thing that made me want to get this gun is the size. It's not too small. It's not too big. All right. Um, when I hold it, which with the uh, mag out, I, 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 my, my pinky comes off of it, but it still feels ergonomically good to me. Now, this gun comes with 13 plus one, right, with this, and with the uh, flat base plate on it, or the even base plate, it comes 10 plus one. I, I like it. Now, standard gun, I like it. It came with its literature. It came in a, a, a box, a regular cardboard box. It didn't come with the uh, regular Smith & Wesson box. Uh, it's designed for writing, all right? It's designed for writing. That's all I'm going to say. Regular three-dot sights. But what they did change, obviously, is the capacity, uh, the grip texture, which I like. The very first one, the grip texture was kind of slippery. This one is, uh, you get a pretty good grip on this. I like it. And the last thing I like on it is the trigger. Now, this is not loaded, guys, so calm down. All right. When you pull the trigger on this, bam, feels good. Reset right there. The very first one had that hinge trigger. I hated it. I still hate it. I don't like it. I couldn't shoot well with it. I had an MMP9 that did not, sh I could not shoot well. All right. I didn't like it. Kind of, I got, I eventually got rid of it. I didn't shoot, I couldn't hit the broad side of a barn with that. I hated it. Um, and I don't hate, it's very rare you're going to find I say I hate a gun. Um, but I just didn't like it. I didn't shoot well. With this, I do, and it shoots very well. It carries well. When I put it on my side, I actually carry it in a Kydex holster. All right. Uh, I've had this since May, and uh, this was a birthday gift that my wife, we want, she took me to the uh, gun store, and she purchased it for me. We walked in, she said, pick, pick a gun. I ended up picking two. And uh, actually, I ended up getting three within that same weekend. Uh, <laughs> but with that being said, I ended up getting this. Uh, so this was a very good purchase. I enjoyed it. So I'm going to show you the second deep concealment weapon that she, we got within that same day. Which is going to be, now this one's loaded, so let me take this because I carry this a lot. Which is going to be the 43X. Let me put it, we know, 43X. The 43X, what's there to say? It's a Glock, right? Uh, same, same praises I'm going to give this that I gave the uh, Shield Plus. The 43X is not too small for me. I like it. It holds real good. Now, the uh, slide is the same size as the 43. They just made the frame bigger and put it on there. And that, to me, made sense. 
I couldn't, uh, when I first heard about that, and I remember when I first heard about it, people were complaining that just didn't make sense. But for someone like me, it does. It feels good. When you hold this, it feels good. Most people complain about the angle of the Glocks and how it doesn't, it's not a perfect angle and doesn't feel good. But when I hold this one, it feels good. Now, with that being said, my very first gun was a Glock. So I don't know any better. Um, so when I hold this, it feels good in my hand. The trigger, it's like any other Glock. It feels good. Uh, the sights, like any other Glock, all right? Uh, the only downside to this is, uh, and which is funny because they were complaining, I always remembered, uh, why has Glock not come out with a single stack weapon? They come out with one and now people complain that they, they could have done better and get, gotten into a deep concealment game and got something uh, that was double stacked to fit the size gun. With that being said, um, Shield Arms has come out with a 15 round magazine with this. The only difference is with that is you have to change the uh, magazine release to get it to work the way they want it to work. But outside of that, um, the gun is great. It shoots great. The only thing is, compared to, if you compare these two guns, which is here, I'm going to put them side by side, uh, the felt recoil on this is a lot more than it is on the Shield Plus. Let me go ahead and put the magazine in. It's not loaded. Uh, there's not one in the pipe, as you got. just wanted to show you what it looks like. Both these guns um, shoot well. Like I said, I have less felt recoil on this compared to the Shield, I mean, compared to the uh, 43X. Um, the trigger, if I had to choose a trigger, I would choose a, once again, the shield. You can see which one, which way I lean, right? Um, as far as the way the ergonomics, if I had to choose between one, um, even though ergonomically this is, but I don't know why this feels good. And I seem to carry this one a little bit. I've been recently carrying this just to see how it carries. Um, and it carries well, it's extremely light. So, you know, but to me, for someone with my size hands, um, these two weapons are the perfect size guns. So for guys out there who are into deep concealment games and have a, a little larger hands, I would definitely recommend both these guns. If you were to tell me which one you would pick either way, if I were to pick one, um, I really can't. It's really up to you. Which one, which way do I honestly lean? I lean a little bit more towards the shield only because of the capacity. But if they ever came out, which they have the shield, I haven't gotten one yet. As soon as I can get the capacity, I'll probably be, um, uh, carrying this more, mainly because on duty I carry a Glock. My very first gun was a Glock. So I'll probably end up carrying a Glock. But either way you go, both guns are great. So uh, guys, that's all I wanted to say. I just want to speak my piece on these two great guns. Have a nice day.